In this video, we'll continue organizing the main harness to fit the goblin. Tape up a few inches of the white BCM connector before zip tying the wires to the connector. Continue taping about one foot of the wires. Install the blue cap and fasten it in place with another zip tie. Trim the short unused wires of the red BCM multi-plug. Group the remaining wires as shown. Tape up the wires until you are a few inches from the end of the large red and black wire. Attach the red multi-plug to the BCM using a 7mm nut driver or socket. Connect the white and blue connector as shown. Tape the two bundles of wires together near where the large red and black wire is exposed. Pull the BCM to the table's edge and attach it with two drywall screws. Be sure to pull all the wires tight as shown. The wires should be near the harness split point that you marked when preparing the table in the first video. Find the brown junction near the BCM. Fold the tape union over as shown. The loose wires pointing toward the BCM should be left where they are for now, and the other loose brown wires will head toward the fuse box. Pull the slack away from the BCM and tape the wires near the brown wire junction. Move about one and a half feet toward the fuse box housing. Pull the wires tight and tape here. Double over the loops of wires as shown to condense the bundle. Tape the harness in a few spots to hold the wires in place. Pull the brown wires on the left side all the way to the fuse box housing. Pull the other brown wires to the BCM. Grab the yellow and green wires near the BCM and take them to the fuse box housing. Next, take the light gray multi-plug from the BCM to the fuse box housing. Tape up a little over a foot of the multi-plug's wires. Install the black cap and tape it in place. Snap the multi-plug into the fuse box housing. Find the headlight harness and mark the multi-plug as shown. Remove the cap and unwrap the whole harness. Next, remove the windshield washer connector and the orange wire. The cobalt uses a long length of wire to control the daytime running lights. You don't have to remove this wire unless it is burnt up. If it is in bad shape, cut both ends of the wire near the multi-plug and then solder the short leftover wires together.
Find the headlight plug closest to the multi-plug. Cut the black wire about 2 inches from the connector. Leave the other wires alone. Repeat the process for the horn connector, but leave about 6 inches of the black wire this time. Find the ground lug near the multi-plug. Tape up one foot of the ground wires. Start taping the headlight harness wires at the multi-plug. Continue to wrap up to where the ground wires meet the harness. Fold the taped ground wires back as shown and continue taping the harness for a few more inches. Go until the shortest ground wire still has about 5 inches exposed. Trim the longer ground wires to the same length as the shortest wire. Strip the end of all the ground wires. Solder 48 inch extension wires to these ground wires. Continue taping the headlight harness and ground wires until you get within 10 inches of the headlight plug. Reinstall the multi-plug cap and snap the plug into the fuse box housing. Route the harness under the fuse box housing and tape it to the main bundle of wires. Grab the coolant tank connector near the BCM. Tape about one foot of the coolant tank wires. Find your fuel pump harness and cut the fuel pump wires near the main connector. Pull the plastic loom off of the fuel pump wires and remove the small pieces of old electrical tape. The leftover connectors and wires are for the EVAP system. Wrap about a foot of these wires. Next, grab your ambient temperature sensor harness. Unplug the temp sensor and set it aside. Cut the ambient temp sensor wires near the black connector. Tape a foot and a half of the ambient temp sensor wires. Grab the coolant tank connector and the fuel pump connector. Place these connectors beside the temp sensor wires as shown. The temp sensor wires should stick out past the other connectors as shown. Tape all of these wires together for about 8 inches. Hold this group of wires next to the main bundle near the fuse box housing. Tape them all together as shown. In the next video, we'll continue organizing the main harness. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified when our new videos go live. If you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, or join our forum. Thanks for watching.